it's all led up to this. Hi folks, and welcome to another Core Cutters News Topical Deep Dive. On this video, we're giving the old hardware review treatment to a brand new accessory from the folks over at Roku. Yes, it's their new Voice Remote Pro, and the company's aiming to pack some interesting new features into this rather familiar looking shell. And full disclosure, the folks at Roku did indeed provide us with this review unit for free, but as always, our actual opinions about the device remain 100% our own. So with all that being said, let's dive into this new accessory to see what's new and hopefully help you decide if it's worth the $29.99 asking price. This is the Cord Cutters News Review of the Roku Voice Remote Pro. What's so special about the Roku Voice Remote Pro? So we actually caught wind of the Roku Voice Remote Pro a little earlier this year ahead of its official release. Some folks on Reddit spotted some small group testing efforts that focused on a then unannounced new remote. From that initial appearance, we were able to glean some key features at a potential price point of $29.99. And then in April, Roku officially unveiled its new accessory alongside a host of other announcements, including Roku OS X, the Stream Bar Pro, and the Express 4K+. And sure enough, when it made its official debut, the Voice Remote Pro was indeed rocking that $29.99 price tag and sporting several interesting features, including a built-in rechargeable battery instead of relying on AA or AAA batteries. It's also offering a lost remote finder and a mid-field microphone that's designed to allow you to engage voice commands without having to physically hold the remote in your hand near your face. And beyond all that, it's also offering some features we've seen on other remote controls within the Roku family. So let's dig a little deeper into those in the next section. Hardware and features. So here's what you can expect right out of the box if you purchase your own Roku Voice Remote Pro. The package itself is unsurprisingly compact. If you need a bit of reference, it's about as tall as the box for the Roku Express, though not quite as wide. For a closer match, let's say it's roughly the size of the box for an Amazon Fire TV stick, more or less. But enough about the box itself, we're more interested in what's inside, right? So once you tear open the packaging, you'll find the Voice Remote Pro, of course, along with a USB charging cable. And yes, I did say charging cable and not USB charger. I guess Roku assumed most of us probably have a few spare USB charging adapters lying around, so you just get the charging cable in this package. And while we're talking about the charging cable, yes, it's using the older micro USB interface, which several commenters criticized when we took our first look at Roku's new devices last month. There's definitely a case to be made for including the newer USB Type-C port here, if only to be a bit more forward looking, but Roku's opted to go with the older and still prevalent micro USB port for charging duties here. The front packaging does tease the remote's private listening capabilities by showcasing a pair of headphones plugged into the accessory, but the fine print points out there are no earbuds actually included in the package here. So if you want to take advantage of Roku's private listening mode, you'll need to supply your own. And if you want to keep everything on brand, Roku is happy to sell you some official in-ear headphones through its own store. $7.99 for a standard pair or $14.99 if you want to step up to the company's premium headphones. Regardless of how you source them, private listening is strictly a bring-your-own-headphones affair here. As for the remote itself, if you're comparing its appearance and feel to previous Roku options, it most closely resembles the voice remote with TV controls and personal shortcuts that comes bundled with the current Roku Ultra. In fact, they're practically identical when viewed from the top. Also, now is a good time to point out that the dedicated media hotkeys might be different depending on where you purchase your Roku voice remote pro. Some instances might include a dedicated button for Apple TV Plus, for instance. In fact, the packaging also mentions potential variations in those preset buttons, but the review unit we were sent features direct access to Netflix, Disney Plus, Hulu, and Sling. In any case, to tease out any real difference between these two remotes, you'd need to check out other areas. On the left side, the Voice Remote Pro adds a switch to disengage the midfield microphone. And we've seen switches like this on other voice-equipped accessories, including Google's Nest Audio. The idea here is that it can disable the microphone so that it's not constantly listening to the environment, waiting for your commands. If you do disengage the mic via this switch, you can still use voice commands by pressing the push to talk feature on the top of your remote. And you'll have to hold the remote in your hand to use it that way, but it is a nice touch for those concerned about microphone packing devices in their living rooms. And perhaps the biggest notable difference between the Voice Remote Pro and previous models can be found on the back. Like we mentioned earlier, this new remote packs its own internal rechargeable battery, so you won't need to pop in a pair of AA's or AAA's every so often. Roku says the internal battery should keep the accessory charged for months at a time, although we obviously didn't have enough time to test that specific claim. 
That said, we'll keep an eye on battery life as the year progresses, so stay tuned. As for the full list of features, here's a handy chart that lists what this new device can do. And yes, you might notice an interesting mix of old and new capabilities here. There's the familiar private listening mode and personal shortcut buttons, features we've seen on previous models, of course. But there's some new tricks here as well. And as for how the Roku Voice Remote Pro actually performs as, well, a remote control, let's dig into that next, shall we? Setup and performance. Setting up the new Voice Remote Pro is a fairly straightforward process. You'll need your current remote or the mobile app handy to actually set it up though. First, you'll have to hold the home button down on your current remote or the app for five seconds and that should open up the setup menu. At least that's what's supposed to happen according to the included documentation. The setup process would not engage when we used our current Roku Ultra Remote, so we just headed over to the settings menu from the main menu, selected remotes and devices, and then set up a new device. Just a heads up if you run into similar issues. From there, you select remote to start pairing, and then you can press and hold the pairing button on the new Voice Remote Pro for five seconds until the status light turns green. And by the way, that pairing button is located on the back of the remote toward the bottom near the signature tag. If you wanna control a non-Roku TV's volume, power, and other functions, you'll need to head over to settings and then the remotes and devices section. There you should click on remotes, find your Voice Remote Pro, and then select set up remote for TV control. Follow those instructions and you should be good to go. And that's all well and good, but what about device compatibility? Well, Roku says the new Voice Remote Pro works with most Roku devices. And while that's encouraging, it's also pretty vague. So let's see if we can shed a little more light on the situation. So here's a list of models that Roku says will work with a new Voice Remote Pro, although please note that the company also says some older options within these various product lines might not be supported. That said, the company says all Roku TV models and audio products will support the Roku Voice Remote Pro. And if you're curious about a specific streaming device model, Roku says you can check out this link for more info, and we've included that link down below in the video description in case you want to check it out. And as far as actually using the Roku Voice Remote Pro, well, it feels like using a Roku Remote Control. If you were perhaps hoping for a transformative premium upgrade here, that's not really what this device is all about. The feel, the materials, and the overall form factor are all very much in line with what we've come to know and expect from the company. The buttons all have a comfortable feel and the device itself is relatively easy to hold and operate. And even if you've never used a Roku remote before, I don't imagine it will take too long before you're comfortable using it without really looking down at it. And engaging that mic cutoff switch does indeed disable that hands-free voice support, but again, you can still use the push to talk button whenever you want. The remote finder was also a handy feature and we had no trouble conducting a search and rescue operation for our missing remote. Where's my remote? And once we supplied our own headphones, the private listening mode worked just like it has on previous remotes within the Roku lineup. All in all, the Roku Voice Remote Pro performs like a Roku remote, just with some new features on board. Is it worlds different from earlier versions? Nope. It's just the most feature-packed iteration of a long lineup of input devices. And does that add up to a worthwhile investment at $29.99? Well, that's honestly up to you. Wrapping it all up. So there you go, that was our review of the new Roku Voice Remote Pro, and we hope you found it useful. Roku calls this their best remote, and honestly, it's hard to find fault with that claim. Yes, it still has the same look and feel of older Roku remotes, so if you were hoping for some ultra premium upgrade with like brushed metal or something, that's definitely not what's happening here. And a USB-C port would have been nice for those of us looking to move on from micro USB, but I don't think I'd classify that as a deal breaker. In the end, the Roku Voice Remote Pro is a well-made, comfortable, and easy to use input device. It would be nice to see this option bundled in with some of the company's streaming players, but for now at least it's a $29.99 standalone option. And as for whether or not that's worth the price, you'll need to take a look at your current remote compared to the Voice Remote Pro and see for yourself whether it's offering $30 worth of improvements to your current situation. And if it does, you'll be treated to a familiar, dependable input device that won't require a diet of batteries over its lifetime. For now though, thank you all so much for tuning in. If you haven't done so already, please do consider clicking on that like button and hey, we'd love it if you decided to follow us here at Cord Cutters News. And until next time, my name is Philip Palermo. We'll see you all next time. Take care.